Are you in college or are going to college soon? Do you struggle on how to maintain a healthy balance between social life and college responsibilities? Well, stay tuned to learn how I managed to achieve this successfully. Hey guys, my name is Fabiola. I'm in my fourth year of college and honestly, these have been the greatest years of my life. I've managed to have a high GPA while still enjoying my social life and spending time with my friends and family. So if you want to know how I did it, let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys 10 different tips on how to have a great social life while still doing perfectly good in your college. So let's just start with some basic. The first tip that I have for you guys is to read the syllabus. Like this is the first thing I do in every college semester that starts. I literally print the syllabus, buy a calendar, and literally write every test that already has a date, write all the changes in the school calendar, um, write your quizzes, and literally just write everything that you know you have to remember or you will have to remember. The second tip is to literally start paying attention on the first day of school to the classes that you have. If um, you have a calculus homework um, already given um, and you have time to do that that same day, do it. Don't leave things for tomorrow that you can do today. Like that's a motto. Um, and literally just like stay on top of the things that you're assigned to do. Tip number three is in order to have a good social life, you need to be on top of your work. You have to study at least um, a week before the test. Um, so you will have time to actually like to not be stressed about it um, because you know that you've studied for that before. Um, but for me, honestly, it's really, really difficult to do that. So one thing that I do is try to stay on tune with the class, like know what you guys, what the professor is talking about and just like pay attention to the class so I won't have to kill myself studying later if I don't understand the class. Tip number four is that if you are feeling a little bit stressed or anxious because you have a because you have a quiz or a test coming up soon um, or in the next few days, like tomorrow or the other day, um, make sure that you just take a quick shower, um, wash your hair, pamper yourself. If you have to watch one or two episodes on Netflix, do it. Like, don't get stressed because of that. It's just a piece of paper, you guys. Um, but yeah, like do everything that is possible to do good in it, but don't like stress yourself so much. You need to relieve that anxiety and just like focus on doing other things. And then when you feel a little bit more calm, you get to work and study. Now I'm gonna tell you guys some tips on how to actually have a social life and feel good with the life that you have. Um, while not being 100% consumed on your study, but still doing good in them. Tip number five is if your parents, siblings, friends tell you to go have lunch with them or go to the movies tonight or go to the mall on the weekends with your mom um, or dad, do it. Like, just do it. I'm going to share with you a quote that I've always loved and it has been my school time motto forever since forever to be honest like i saw this quote and it has honestly changed my life and i and i really hope that it does change yours as well where is it give me a break guys i found the quote and it reads i don't care if you have three hours of homework left if your friend is crying, you need to go comfort her. If your boyfriend is upset, you need to go give him a hug. If your mother wants to talk, talk to her. If your brothers are jumping in leaf piles, go join them. You can't miss your life because of the demands of school. You can always finish homework later or get one bad grade. But life, you can't push that off for later. You only get that one chance. And no homework assignment is much more important than actually living your life. Tip number six is to spend time with your college friends. Um, you can make a study group and study together even though you might be tackling, tackling, 
taking different classes, um, just like go out for drinks um, a day, um, go and buy some smoothies together, just like just try to find time to actually just have little moments of joy with your friends. Tip number seven is straightforward. Go to that Friday or Thursday night college party. Do it. But you know, if you have a 7 a.m. if you have a 7 a.m. class the next day, like make sure that you also go to it, even though you might be horribly tired but it's your responsibility and you need to do it tip number eight is sleep well um i recommend that you sleep obviously like eight hours a day um sometimes it's really difficult for me to do that i mostly sleep um six to seven hours maybe sometimes five and yeah like that's not a good thing i really need to just establish um a certain time where i should go to bed um for me it's probably like 12 in the morning um honestly i'm gonna be so honest with you guys um i don't study i don't like pull out all-nighters like i don't do that i just um try to just like balance the time of the day to actually study and in the night i just I am free you know um well not free but i don't stay like really late at night studying because my work my brain doesn't work that way like my brain actually learns more when it's daytime than if i'm putting than if i am putting an all-nighter so but that, that's just me you guys tip number nine is to find your hobby whether it is drawing whether it is dancing whether it is singing whether it is um um taking art classes just find a hobby to take your mind off college homework and tests like do actually do find the time to actually do something that you enjoy doing and will make your life happier and tip number 10 is what i'm doing literally this second and it is find your passion have a side hustle like i'm st i'm a full-time college student i have a family i have a boyfriend and now i have this youtube building career like and this is my side hustle and i enjoy doing this because it takes my mind out of all the college things and homeworks and tests that i have and it makes me feel um safe makes me feel happy that i'm actually um doing something else than just sitting and studying all day like no this is my side hustle and i will continue to do this if it's god's will for no matter how old i get so I really encourage you to go find your passion, go find that hobby, go find that side hustle and work on it. Like find time to work on it, you guys, because it is possible no matter how cramped up you are with your studies, um, you have the time to do so, guys. You just have to find it. So guys, um, I really hope that you all enjoyed these 10 tips on how to do well in college while still having a great college life. Um, make sure that you, if you have any more um, um, tips, make sure that you comment down below with the tips that you've learned. Um, start a conversation with the people in the comments and just let me know what other things you want me to incorporate in my videos or like give tips, give tips, uh, give tips about um so yeah thank you so so much for watching you guys i really hope that you all find this video helpful um please make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel and click the notification bell so you'll get a notification thingy on your phone every time that i post i usually post sundays and wednesdays so i'll see you the next time